Welcome to the Courage Barbell Unlimited Podcast with your host, legendary powerlifter and strength athlete, Chad Ikes. For most, the journey of strength starts in the gym, but should inevitably expand through all aspects of life. Join us as we discuss all things strength. Now, here's your host, Chad Ikes. The Quotes, episode, I have no idea. I'm not even sure how many of these I've made yet. I'm sure eventually it's going to hit triple digits, though. That's what I'm shooting for. So today, I got a quote by somebody I don't even have any idea who he is. I ran across it, and I just thought it was really simple and really meaningful. And I think it's a nice short one that I think we can keep in our heads and that can really change our perspective when we're going through some pretty crappy times. And I'm going to completely butcher this name, so I apologize. Haruki Murakami. That's the best I can get. It's a very simple quote. It's, it's, it is, quote, I can bear any pain as long as it has meaning. End quote. I mean, that's, that's pretty simple. I'm kind of questioning why I'm doing this quote and talking about it right now because it is very simple. But I think what happens is I think a lot of times when we're going through shit, when we're in pain, especially mental pain, we get lost in it. We drown in it like drowning in darkness. And we lose our perspective. We lose our thought. And a lot of times, if we could just remind ourselves of this little quote, that can be that little light that we can hang on to to get us through it. I've been through some really bad times with my sleep. Uh, Those of you that follow me, you probably know I've had sleep problems since I was in about fifth grade. Everything from diagnosis narcolepsy to full-on insomnia up to somewhere around 12 to 14 days. It was normal at one point for me to be awake two or three days at at a run. I've dealt with severe depression, some suicidal issues. And I came, I came to a thought a while back. This is years back now. And I think this is probably what helped me to be able to get a handle on these things and have them to the point where now I still don't sleep great, but I sleep better than I used to. And I really haven't had any massive, major, like medical depression in, in quite a, quite a long time now. I have my normal ups and downs. There's no doubt about that. Um, but I think it was a quote like this that kind of helped me to start turning things around. And it was like, wait a minute, if I can, it's okay. It's okay that I went through this. It's okay that I dealt with this as long as I can, it has meaning to it. And for me, part of that meaning was being open about it and talking about it and telling my story and trying to let people know that like, listen, I still became one of the strongest people in the world. I became one of the top power lifters. I did pretty good in Highland Games for not dedicating super amounts of time to it. And in my training, I was able to have, I've been able to help so many people avoid going to these places because I was able to teach them, like, listen, here, you have to watch your training. If you overtrain, these things happen, so we need to back you off. You know, and I've had so many people write to me about dealing with depression and that they they heard some of my stuff and how positive it was for them. And that that really gave all that pain and hurt and darkness like a meaning. And that that made it much easier to deal with. Like I went through this going through something. for no reason, like 
sucks. At least if there's a reason, at least if there's meaning and you're helping other people, I think that gives, I don't know, it just, it just makes it easier to deal with. It makes it okay. It makes, it, well, not okay, but it makes it where you can just go, yeah, okay, I had to do this. This is, this is what happened, but now I'm able to help people because of that. And in, and in a way, it's kind of like being dedicated to a business or a sport or a relationship or anything. Like you, you go through that struggle. You know, when you're, when you're training as an athlete, you, you give up a lot of things. You miss a lot of things in your life and you work really, really hard and you go through injuries and you push your body to the limit, hoping that when you do make it, it kind of, it kind of makes it, it's okay. Um, I would, I would put this up there with birth for women. Um, I, that whole nine month thing seems absolutely horrible to me. Uh, and then having that kid come out like that just seems awful to me. And a lot of women will struggle, especially near the end, but then they have that baby and it was like, okay, well that wasn't so bad. And it's, it's just simply that meaning that, that makes it not be so bad. And the same thing with, you know, the businesses, guys don't just start businesses and, oh, well, that was easy. I invested my whole life savings and blah, blah, blah. No, they struggled. You know, they, they risk all their life savings. They risk their money. They put in tons and tons and tons of hours. But then when it goes and they're like, hey, I, I have 50 employees, like I'm helping 50 people support their families. And I have this business that's doing well. And I have intelligent people running it. So I don't have to work as much now. Like that makes all that hard work worth it. So I think that, that giving meaning to things is really, really important. And what I want you to think about is, is kind of try to set it in your memory so that when you do start going through that struggles and when you do kind of want to quit or kind of give up, or you're starting to feel sorry for yourself, or you're starting to just like just get buried in the darkness and the pain. Think about, wait a minute, if this can just have meaning and how can I, how can I give this meaning? How can I make this a positive thing that can help you get through it? And even when you do get through it, that can help you deal with it and not hold on to it and not keep that negativity inside of you, but let it go. And, and not, you know, a lot of times, people will will take bad situations and, and it'll just feed off them and change their life and make them into this negative person. And you, you got to kind of let that go and, and finding meaning in those struggles and in that pain is what helps. And maybe whatever you're going through right now, maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe you're going to write a book someday and help people. Maybe you're going to start a podcast and help people. Maybe you're just going to like interact with a few friends and you're going to, one of them's going to like, you might save their life because you, you go, no, Hey, I went through this too. And it's good now. And this is what I did. And, you know, so just, just think about those things that seem dark and find the light in them because there always is some light in them. Couragebarbell.com. Check it out. Purchase some stuff. Help us out with the channel and YouTube channel. Check out the YouTube channel if you train. There's a lot of good training information on there. That's just Courage Barbell's YouTube channel. Chad Ike's Instagram. I try to do a lot of videos and I, I do some stuff like this. I try to do some positive reels and stuff like that on there. And the podcast. Check, Keep checking out the podcast. Share the podcast. If you know some people that will like it, please shoot them a link. And I'm going to let you guys go because I am out of here. Thanks for listening to the Courage Barbell Unlimited podcast. For more information, please visit couragebarbell.com. Until next time.